I feel like I could keep this going for my whole five minutes. And I feel like people are going to be disappointed when I move to the next slide. But I'm going to do it. Watch your hands, Hamada. Sorry. Now, that moment just um, was a little too real for me. Because these guys, if you don't know who these are, this is the R&B classic, mid-90s, boys to men. Thank you. Now, that song, in fact, that whole scene, <laughs> really took me back to eighth grade, So, which is a terrible feeling. No one's like, ooh, I eighth grade was my favorite memory. I loved being a seventh grader. It was awesome. Um, it was, these guys were playing that song in my middle school gym. And it, they played it for the second time. And it was the last song. We all knew it was the last song. I'm there. I'm in a blue and white dress with uh, Doc Martens, probably knockoff, but Doc Martens, a jean jacket. Um, I think a perm. I'm trying to block that one out of my memory. Um, and that song comes on. I'm like, OK, the guy I have a crush on is going to ask me to dance that dance. And came over, I'm like, OK, this is it. And then he asked my best friend. Thank you. <laughs> That's how I felt. Um, that moment is inside of me. Like that feeling, like I felt it, like watching that happen. I was like, oh crap. Why am I doing this in front of all of you people? Um, I have a theory that middle school dances have been hell throughout all of time that they are hellish for everybody. What happens if he's too tall? What happens if he's too short? How do I ask her? What if she says no? How do I dance in these heels? That feeling is one we all have. And so I'm feeling quite vulnerable up here. Can you all just take a moment and get that feeling inside of you? Think back just for a second to that feeling. Good, I've seen enough squirming. You all are there. Um, and so I'm a middle school student council president or advisor. And so this was me last Friday. Mean Streets of Yokohama, middle school dance. It is on and I am there and I can't believe it. Because I thought being not an eighth grader, I would never have to go again, never have to have that feeling. And so why the hell am I in that level of hell? Now this document, you have seen gorgeous documents. You've seen Sam's hand-drawn stuff. You've seen pictures of sneakers that you didn't even think would be beautiful. This document makes my heart flutter. It makes, just brings a little tear to my eye. I'm not even kidding. Like, this document is an action plan created by my middle school school and council dance committee. It's 30 kids, show up, plan the dance. And I've only got one thing I have to do. They have only assigned me one task. All I have to do is buy drinks, and I would let them buy drinks except they don't have a credit card. This is my student council president running our meeting. This is our protocols. Oh, the drinks didn't catch on. I was really hoping people would do it. Um, thank you. Um, the, we have reflections. They lead it. This is theirs, not mine. This is what my classroom looks like. Balloons in the corner. This is their classroom. It's not mine. If it was mine, I would never have balloons in a room full of middle schoolers. <laughs> this is what the classroom where I spend all my time looks like. This feels just as vulnerable as telling you the story about the guy who I had a crush on. It's a disaster because middle school kids are a mess. This is theirs. It is ours. This is what the classroom looks like. A bunch of boys who could have been outside playing basketball having a huge debate about what EDM versus dubstep versus One Direction. The answer is always play more One Direction. Girls dance to One Direction. Boys don't dance unless girls are dancing. 
This is why I do this. It is about fun. It's about having a blast with your friends. It's about being proud of what you do. My middle school boys put together this Pinterest-worthy DJ booth. <laughs> they are proud of that. I'm really proud of that. Um, it's about celebrating. Celebrating graduation, celebrating getting the girl to dance, celebrating not falling, celebrating just surviving middle school. And it's about these goofballs, these lovely, messy kids. Middle school dances are still hell. Last Friday, there were girls crying in the bathroom, people talking about people in the corner. There was drama I did not want to get involved in because I am in my 30s and I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> it is insane. It is still hell. But these kids go keep going back to make it better. They are risk takers. If they can ask a girl to dance, they can do anything. If they can ask a boy to hang out, they can do anything. They look into that circle of hell and they decide they're going to make something better. And that's what we want them to do. We want to empower them to believe that even in the darkest moments, in those moments where your crush asks someone else to dance, you can make something better. Thank you.